Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we have a lot to talk about. There is a lot that I learned this weekend, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So real quick. As you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? I would love to know. We were just in Louisville, Kentucky. We just got home to Minnesota. It is absolutely beautiful out. And I was in Louisville, Kentucky for a couple different reasons. I'm going to share with you, really, I got to learn a lot about intermittent fasting. I got to learn a lot about, uh, well, I have some questions for you around how many meals you think people actually eat a day. I'm just going to give you some awareness around food, which is what the Keto Mom page is mainly about. So where are you tuning in from? We're going to talk about food, intermittent fasting. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. We're going to talk about the slim down challenge that we're doing over the course of this entire summer. Lots of things to talk about. But if you're brand new, post new below. I would love to get to know you. I would love for you to press the share button. Sharing is caring. It invites people to join us. And I'm just going to share with you what I learned over the weekend. I thought it was super valuable. I am implementing it myself, but I want you to do it as well because I just want you to feel better and have a healthier life. So also, at any point in time, as I'm sharing, I'm going to give you some things I learned from the doctors and the scientists that created ketones but operate at a very high level in the keto, low-carb, health and fitness space. And uh, you can always go to ketomomsecrets.com. So I have a website or a blog, ketomomsecrets.com. You can click on how to get started, recipes. Uh, I've got trial packs of ketones. If you've never tried these, I'm going to talk about something called the Slim Down Challenge. We're going to talk about that, the Summer Slim Down Challenge. But here is a question for you as we get started. I need you to play full out. All right. The question is this. True or false? All you have to answer is true or false. Do you think that a majority of people, is this true or false, eat three meals a day? True or false? The average person eats three meals a day. True or false? And the answer is false. How many meals do you think the average person eats? eats a day. Any thoughts? My daughter said, my daughter said, I think the average person eats about five meals a day. So I had the opportunity. We had the opportunity to listen to Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson, who utilize uh, really more low carb, high protein in the keto space. They utilize um, drinking ketones, they help athletes, they help just people in general overall really understand the power of food and eating. And this is what we learned this weekend. And I learned a ton of things. Here's one of them. The average person eats approximately 10 meals a day. And that is calculated by calories. And don't think of a meal as like, don't think of a meal as like a massive dinner but small meals throughout the day, 10 meals. So prior to this weekend, often here on the Keto Mom page, I'll say things like, hey, most people are overeating. If somebody messages me a question, or talking about fat loss, guess what? I'll say, how often are you eating? How often are you snacking? What are you snacking on? And there's so many things I learned this weekend. And when he said, when Dr. Ryan said, the average person is eating about, the, let's say, approximately 10 meals a day, a day or approximately that many calories. You wonder why uh, people are seeing the scale go up and not down. Just so you know, that could include healthy meals, right? If you're constantly snacking all day long, if you're, and even, so for example, here's one of the things he said, it was so interesting. He says, Steph, 
Oh, he didn't say Stephanie, but I felt like he was talking to me amongst all the hundreds and hundreds of people in the crowd. Well, actually, they did call out my name a lot, <laughs> but I, I do know them personally. They're super great doctors. We've had the opportunity to sit down and interview them uh, about ketones, and our family has um, been to their labs a couple times, so super, super great. I'd like to say we're friends, but so here is what Dr. Ryan and Dr. Jacob said, that snacks are equivalent. So the average snack, right? So I'm not saying a snack is like a handful of almonds or a snack is like a cheese stick or a snack is like in a whole food snack. But he goes, the average snack has 30% more or higher calories than even what people are eating in their meals because they're eating a lot of processed snacks. And it even could be a processed snack that's labeled keto. And listen to this. So I'm going to give you some statistics. I'm going to walk you through the power of setting yourself an eating window. And I'm going to invite you to join me on the summer slim down challenge. It's going to be great. If you're already going, yes, I please need help. Please help me. Uh, roast, roast. Oh goodness gracious. Post uh, summer challenge below. And I'll give you some information. But here is a couple things that I've learned this weekend about food. First of all, the three biggest challenges for people in general are there is sleep, not getting enough sleep, which affects your fat loss, food, which affects your fat loss, and stress, which affects your body and fat loss. And all of those things not only lead to weight gain, but also causing people to get sick, right? So it, it's our sleep. It's the food that we're eating. It's the lack of sleep, the food that we're not, that we're eating and the stress that we're allowing our bodies to be under for a significant amount of time. Those three things are the biggest challenge. And so what they talked about is how he says both of them, he, they, Dr. Ryan, Dr. Jacob talk about how the average person is eating throughout the day for 14 hours. So from the time they get up, and he goes, most people, just so you know, what I should label this live, if you're listening to it live, I should say right now, the kitchen is completely closed. Did you know that the average, and, and I don't even know if that, I mean, you say average, but you're like, let's just say like 90% of people eat all of their calories that they need throughout the day by 6.30 p.m. So by 6.30 p.m., you have reached that, like, hey, here's all that my body needs, and just think about it like this. Mo I think he actually said 90% of people. I wrote down some statistics. Um, I think he said it like this. Oh, shoot. Where did it go? Oh, 15% of people's food. 15% of... I'm giving you a lot of statistics, but I need you to hear this. It's really important. 15% of people's food eaten is after 9 p.m. So most people are overeating. Most people eat approximately 10 meals a day if you're looking at the calories. Most people eat from the time they wake up until the time they go to bed. I do have four dogs. So that they're loud in the background if you hear them. Most people eat 15% more calories even after what they've reached at 6.30 after 9 p.m. Their body doesn't rest and they do it all over again the next day. So if you are listening, I'm not trying to condemn you and I'm not trying to be like, I... When they were delivering the information to us, you could see the entire crowd go, yeah, like we're ingrained to eat when you get up because that's the most important meal of the day. Not true. Uh, we're ingrained to eat all day. We need, you know, there used to be this whole movement of you have to eat every two hours. You have to eat every two hours. You better get your metabolism up. Not true. And it's like force feeding people's bodies, right? Right. And so something that I tell people is I think the, the biggest key, one of the biggest things I say is I'll say, listen, if you're not hungry, don't eat. If you get to the end of the day and let's say you're keto or you're tracking your food and you have macros to eat, don't eat just because you see that your little, your little circle pie chart isn't filled in. Is this making sense? So if you're sitting there listening and I, all I want you to do is give yourself a little, like, a little check and go, all right, what time do I start eating in the morning? How many snacks do I have? Am I eating throughout the entire day? Do I sit on the couch at night exhausted and then feel like I have to snack on something? And is my goal fat loss? And how can I fix that? That's what we're going to talk about. How can I fix the constant eating, the con all of, all of it? Because 
you, I mean, it's an issue all over the world. It is a challenge that people are dealing with all over the world, right? We eat and we eat and we eat. And so one of the biggest things I talked about is why intermittent fasting or really eating within a window is so important. And so one of the things they said is, hey, most people in general, they gave us a whole bunch of times. Like what happens to your body after you fast for 10 hours or 12 hours? 12 to 13, optimal time is 16, eight, right? 16 hours of resting your body, not eating and eating within an eight hour window. Uh, He also said that people that are going after and to lose a large amount of fat would shoot to fast for 18 to 20 hours and then eat within that four to six hour window. And so here's how intermittent fasting works. And all I want you to do, you you can say intermittent fasting, you can say time restricted eating window, You could just simply tell yourself, well, these are the times that I eat. These are the times that I eat around, right? And the reason is, is because you need your body to rest and to digest and, and utilize the the fat and the fuel that you have. And, and if you're like, oh my goodness, hi, uh, that's never been me. I've never fasted. If I get up in one hour, I'm hangry. I get it. That was me. And I wouldn't start from eating little Debbie snacks and pizza to diving into what I'm about to tell you, but it's a progressive learned implemented day by day, step by step. This is what I did, but it's been over the course of eight years. When I first started, you guys, all I did was I started with ketones. My husband started with the keto diet. Then I started with one meal at a time, one day at a time, drank water, cut back on the sugar. I didn't start fasting until I think it was three or four years, you guys, four years into our journey, four years. So we've been, we have been coaching people and sharing what we have learned for eight years. So this is not an overnight thing, but I promise you, if you can get this and you can get it quickly, it can help shift your mindset, shift the way that your body is operating, shift the way that you feel. It will help you a ton. So here is how you break that. So how in the world do you go from eating all day long to not? I need you to think about, first of all, why are you eating, right? Do we have some emotions? We're eating out of emotions or boredom, out of sight, out of mind. If it's in sight, I eat it, right? Seafood, like I see food, I eat it. So here's what they recommend. If you're just getting started, shoot for a fasting of 10 hours. You guys, fasting is during your sleeping. So it's after dinner, all of your sleep till the next day. So when you want to get to the optimal level, you're going to stop eating after dinner time, which most people reach their calories by 6.30 or 7. Then you go to the next day, 16 hours later, right? So after dinner to the next day, takes you about lunch. That whole time frame, your body is resting. Your body was digesting the food the night before. Like it's really great for your body. So if you can do that, then you give yourself an eight hour window to eat. So you eat your meals, you eat, you drink your water. You don't, you don't like over consume. Your body is going to learn and adapt. You're not going to dive into fasting for 16 hours. If you've never done anything like this before, they recommend you start with like 10 to 12, 12 to 14, 14 to 16. And you can work at it gradually throughout the weeks or even a month. And so here's what it looks like. Uh, in general, actually, I'm going to explain to you what the summer slim down challenge is, but I really want you just to start being aware or maybe just start paying attention to how often you're eating. If you just have the awareness of how often and how much, you will go, oh my goodness, I didn't realize I was eating all of this food. I didn't realize that I was. Um, yes, yes. Actually, Amy, you can do a lot of different things during your, so from after dinner, until the next day lunch, here's what you can consume in that time frame, right? This isn't meant to starve you. You can drink water, you can drink black coffee, you can drink um, some teas. I drink ketones. We actually have an intermittent fasting kit. So the Summer Slim Down Challenge includes a bundle. And what it is, is it's 20 pack of ketones. We have an intermittent fasting kit, and then we're gonna end it all together with a 60 hour keto reboot. I'll talk to you about all of this in a second, what that looks like, but ketones don't break your fast. They actually help with your appetite. They help with your cravings. They help with your energy so that when you get up in the morning 
And you might go, but wait, I might, I might get hangry. Ketones help with that. Uh, we have electrolytes. We have different things that are, that are tools to help you work through the intermittent fasting period. And then when it's time for lunch, you're going to focus on more proteins and proteins and veggies or a salad. During this intermittent fasting that we're going to do together for these five days, you're going to have uh, some keto protein. So it's a, it's called uh, keto OS protones, but there's things that we have in our kit for this next 30, 60, 90 days. If you choose to participate, that will help you realize, oh, I am overeating. Oh, I have some tools to help me get through that time period. So I have the energy, I have the focus, I have the appetite control, but I don't have to eat all the time. And so I just sat there at this conference and I was blown away. They have, they have graphs and statistics and studies and their research and they're publishing these about just what excess food, which we know, and sugar and carbs do to our bodies. And if we truly, truly want to optimize how we're feeling and our health, we're going to just simply pay attention to what we're eating. To this point, listen to this. They did a study of people losing fat and like whatever their diet was, right? The first group of people, they took, I don't even know how many, they took a handful of people and all they did they didn't change anything they ate. All they did was restricted their time frame. So they have from after dinner, 12 hours. They didn't eat till 12 hours, not even 16, right? To the next day, so like mid-morning. And then they, they told them, here's, your, here's the time frame you can eat, like 10 to 6 or whatever. All they did with this first group of people was restrict their eating window just a little bit. And those people lost 20 pounds. And I don't know if it was like over the course of a year. I don't remember the time frame. It wasn't like in two weeks. But they didn't say, hey, you can't eat buns or pasta. They said, all I'm going to do is, all, you, all you're doing is cutting off the nighttime eating and the early morning eating. And they, and they dropped some weight. And then what they did is they lowered it and lowered it. And they just got to where they were at 16 and 8 and utilizing ketones and watching people build muscle and lose fat and have cognitive function and all of these different things. I mean, the research around food and ketones and the power of how food is fueled with the right food is unbelievable. And so here is what we are doing if you choose to participate. First of all, just have an awareness of how much food you're eating. Second of all, this is what I'm going to be doing if you want to join me, you're more than welcome to. So we have something called the Summer Slim Down Bundle. As I'm explaining it, if you want the kit or you want to know how to get the kit, just write a Summer Challenge below. And you might already have all these in your cupboard. If you're a current customer, you might already have the product. You can join us. Excuse me. <coughs> you can join us and uh, we're going to start June 12th. And so, well, you're going to get your product before them, but if you post summer challenge below, I will get you the information. So you're going to get in this pack, you're going to get 20 packs of a variety of ketones. So you've got 10 different flavors, 20 of them. So two of all of these flavors, this is the first part. All you're going to do is drink a pack of ketones a day in between our intermittent fasting and our reboot. So for example, you're going to get up in the morning. If you drink coffee, great. You're going to drink your water. You're going to drink a pack of ketones. You're going to feel amazing. I'm going to help you choose some low carb meals. We're not even saying keto. Uh, like for example, like protein and a salad in the afternoon, right? Uh, drinking your water, being mindful of how, like if you need a snack, uh, Dr. Ryan was like, well, a snack is really great. Let's say some Greek yogurt with some blueberries or what did he say? A hard boiled egg. He was talking about whole food. He goes, even if somebody doesn't want to go keto or even low carb, a whole food, at least the least amount of ingredients, the better. I think we all know that, right? Compared to a box of something. So here's what the Summer Slim Down Challenge is. You're going to get 20 packs of ketones, two of each of these flavors. You're going to drink ketones once a day. On June 12th, we're going to dive into something called the Intermittent Fasting Kit. So you're going to get up in the morning. You're going to drink your ketones. We're going to work on drinking half of our body weight in ounces of water. We're going to do this Monday through Friday, the 12th through the 16th. Then you're going to go throughout your morning. You're going to feel great. You're not going to be hungry. You're going to drink your water. This is going to turn your appetite down and your energy up, and you're going to function throughout your morning. Then for lunch, well, actually, hold on. We've got some electrolytes. So once your ketones are gone, you're going to throw some electrolytes in your water. You're going to feel amazing. 
it just flavors your water and these are really great electrolytes for lunch you're going to drink our keto protein you're going to throw it in some water you're just going to drink this and then you're going to eat a low carb whole food some people are paleo whatever you choose to eat for your lunch Dr. Ryan and Dr. Jacob said, I prefer you to eat a higher protein. And he says the average amount of protein per meal should be about your fist. If you're, he said, he said some men that are really strong and buff. And of course me, he said some men might need two fists, right? But think of this, this is like a good size portion of protein. So he says, eat your lunch, go throughout your day. This is Monday through Friday. This is our intermittent fasting. I'm going to teach you how to do it. You're going to have another pack of ketones. You just pop this in some water. I'll walk you through how to do it. Then for dinner, you're going to have a, your low carb or whole food dinner. So you're eating during this Monday through Friday. And you're eating as we're drinking these. We're just going to learn how to eat better meals and just make better choices and snack less. So we're going to, we're going to learn how to eat within this window. And then before, um, this doesn't break your fast. So this really helps the nighttime craving. So if you are one that likes to sit down on the couch and maybe watch your favorite show, you're going to throw this in some water and you're going to feel amazing. So we're going to do this, your intermittent fasting, the 12th through the 16th. Then we're just going to keep moving on. We're going to work on our low carb meals. We're going to move our bodies. He talked about the power of how most people, if they could just get 7,500 steps in a day, 7,500 to 10,000 steps a day, hands down, will change the way that you feel and your body, right? And so I love to do CrossFit, but he's like, you don't have to go do CrossFit, get your steps in. So, so we're going to work on a lot of things. We're going to work on your mindset. We're going to work on intermittent fasting. We're going to work on the power of ketones, the amount of statistics and studies and research and unbelievable science around ketones that I have learned over eight years. And even just this last weekend of what it does to your brain and your entire body was mind blowing. And it's a great optimal fuel to get you started, to keep you going, and to feel unbelievably amazing, and to actually fuel your brain. So Dr. Ryan talked to, okay, so uh, I'm going to tell you a couple more things about muscle and fat, fat gain, muscle loss in just a second. On June 25th, if you choose to participate, this also comes in your kit, and we're going to do a 60-hour fast. This one you don't eat with, but hold on, don't freak out. This one in the kit is basically like intermittent fasting. But what you're going to do, it, yeah, Cindy, you can send me a message. If you have any questions, send me a private message. If you have any questions, post them below. If you want to know more about this entire system, we're going to do it for 90 days. We're doing it every single month. There's a reason why we're, we're running into uh, some fun things this fall. If you want to join us, I'll let you know what it is. First of all, if you grab the kit, they're, they're putting some fun little golden and silver and bronze tickets in random boxes and they're giving away some trips to Mexico with us and our team and our community. So we're going to be going to Mexico in October. For those who order the slim down kit, um, there's fun little tickets that are going out. Hey Amy, there's caffeine in some of it and caffeine free, but Amy, let's chat because I can always, let's just, Amy, I'll send you a message when I'm done. I have a thought for you. So, um, this is a 60 hour keto reboot. We're going to do it together. You start on a Sunday night, you go all day, Monday, all day, Tuesday, drinking everything in the kit and a lot of water. And then you break your full fast. Some people don't want to do a full 60. So we'll break it up. We'll do a 24 and a 24. I know that's not 60, but it calculates it because we count the time you're sleeping. So you can break it up and do half and half. You can do the full, but the entire kit is for the entire month. Whether you're drinking ketones we're going to dive into intermittent fasting with all of this, and then we'll end on the reboot, and then we'll do that June, July, and August. You can join us for one month. You can join us for all of the months. You can get your booty in gear and just start feeling amazing. And here's what I have done over eight years, okay? All of this is great. All of this is great. I started with this. I drank one packet of ketones a day. I did the best I could in my food. I learned how to narrow my window of eating so I wasn't eating from the time I woke up to the time I go to bed. I started moving my body and I implemented mindset and gratitude. And you might be like, wait, wait, what? So here's something super fun. Is this making sense? Do you guys have any questions? So I want to help you. And whether all you do is want recipes, awesome. 
tune into the page. I share recipes every day. You can go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on recipes. You can ask questions below. If you just, if you're like, I don't want the whole kit and I don't want to fast, but all you want to know is to understand ketones. I did an interview with Dr. Ryan and Dr. Andy, uh, and she's a, a women's doctor that really works with hormones. Unbelievable. And if you've never seen it, they both, uh, we, I interviewed them both about ketones, how they work, how they work for athletes and women and anybody. In, I should say women aren't athletes. I meant like, maybe you're an athlete Maybe you've got a desk job. Maybe you're older. Maybe you're younger. They cover a lot of the questions. So if you want to see those interviews and you've never seen them before, post interview below and we can chat. So here is what I want you to know. I know this is tickling. Um, I think that this slim down bundle is going to be great. I'm super excited over the next 90 days to help people create some habits to help them feel better, to help them have an awareness of how often you're eating and just to help you narrow that down so you are in control of food. It doesn't control you. And you get to learn all of that by using this tool. And so I have been drinking these for eight years. If they didn't work, I wouldn't share them with you. If all you want to do is a trial pack, we can talk about that. If you want to do the summer slim down bundle, awesome. I think it's amazing. I think it's a great way to get started. And you'll be coached on my personal page and on another page that's coached with thousands of people. So we'll plug you into the group. We have accountability. Uh, I do prizes on my group. So I just did a prize for the last 10 day challenge. A whole bunch of ladies won some water bottles. And so all of that is to help you. And the biggest thing I like to tell people is this. I like to break it up into seven different steps. And you might be like, oh my goodness, it's not overwhelming. The first step is let's work on your mindset and gratitude. Like I want to help you realize there's so much for you to be thankful for. And even just sitting on here and learning and listening, like you have a phone, you have access to the internet. There's so many things that if you just realize the power of your thinking, it will help you go further faster in your life, right? So I like to talk about mindset. I want to help you understand water. That's simple. Drink half your body weight in ounces of water. We talk about drinking ketones. This is the fuel of choice. When you drink this, your body goes into ketosis in under an hour, not the diet. It's a powder. You put it in some water. You drink it. You're going to have energy. I haven't taken a nap in over eight years. I tell people I used to be a napper. I'm a homeschool mom of four girls. I used to have to nap every day. I'm not tired. I don't hit the three o'clock wall. I'm not snacking all day. I have energy to keep up with my kids and my four dogs. Uh, I feel incredible. Ketones turn on my brain. They've helped me build big muscles. They turn off my appetite. It is my fuel of choice. Hands down works. Puts you in ketosis in under an hour. So we talk about mindset, talk about water, talk about ketones. Those are pretty three simple steps. Then we dive into food. I give you some suggestions on low carb meals. Then we talk about moving your body whether it's going for a walk or joining a gym. Then we dive into just simply accountability. And I think I skipped a step. <laughs> I don't have them written down. I know I have seven steps, but um, I'm drawing a blank. I need some more ketones. I did just travel all day. So anyways, I'm going to help you with all of that. And I get to be your accountability partner and help guide you and give you some suggestions and help you the longer you stick with it and create habits, you've got to undo the old healthy habits. Oh, intermittent fasting was number seven. I'm like, what do we focus on? Intermittent fasting. We talk about mindset, drinking water, drinking your ketones. We dive into food, better options, intermittent fasting when you're ready, uh, moving your body and accountability. Those steps, when done consistently over time, will help you get you to where you want to go. Will help you feel amazing, feel stronger, longevity in your life. Like ketones are unbelievable and your body can make them and you can drink them. Most people don't do the diet properly or long-term. All right. So when I hopped on here in the beginning, I said the kitchen is closed. Pay attention to how often you're eating and snacking. Again, most people reach their calorie intake for the day by 630. If that's you, and you need help with nighttime snacking, I can help you with that as well. So if you're brand new and you're just hopping on, I'd love to get to know you. Post new below. Ask all of your questions. I'm 100% here to help. Join me on the Summer Slim Down. 
Uh, and I think that's all I have. So I appreciate you all. Ask your questions. Continue to tune in. Your presence matters. And uh, I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I look forward to, oh, I already said that. I look forward to, I look forward to talking to you very soon. All right. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I sometimes crack myself up. You guys, sometimes lives are funny because you'll be like, you have an idea of what you want to say and then you just kind of feel like a silly person. So, all right. I appreciate you. <laughs>